Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be walking through some of the first steps that you need to do once you get your ALP. Uh, what we're gonna be covering, three different topics. Number one, we're gonna go over uh, registering your ALP, as well as uh, why that's important. Uh, we're gonna be covering firmware updates to make sure that you have the latest and greatest version of your ALP. And then finally, in uh, part two of this video, we're gonna go over the configuration process to uh, set up your jammer, enable the jammer functionality, and customize it the way that you want. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing that you'll want to do, you'll want to go over here to ALP, uh, well, not .com, but this website here, ALPriority.com. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the video description. Click on that and uh, enter in your information. You'll want to make sure that you enter in the uh, serial numbers for your control box and your individual heads. Uh, this is important, uh, as well as your email, of course. What they're going to do here, once you send it in, uh, they'll keep you updated when there's new versions of the firmware that come out. And uh, that's very important here with the jammers. They're not something that you just install once and they're good forever. Uh, there's different firmwares that come out over time that uh, add new features, that fix bugs, and perhaps most importantly, actually update the laser jamming capabilities of your ALP to make sure you stay protected as things change with uh, LiDAR guns. So definitely make sure you stay on top of updates and registering here will just make sure that you get uh, emailed whenever there's an update that you need to download. Now, the second thing, we're going to go over here to alpupdate.com. Again, link in the video description. Uh, this is going to be a site that we'll use pretty frequently as we need to go in and uh, customize our ALP as well as update it. So for the firmware upgrade, uh, we're going to go over here to this section and we're going to click on enter. Okay. Now, there's a couple different files that we're going to need to download. Uh, the first thing that everybody's going to want to download is the control box update. The control box is the main white box that the ALP comes with that everything else plugs into. We're going to want to update the firmware for that. Uh, to do that, we're going to need the serial number of our control box, and the serial number is located in two places. Number one, it's located on the underside of the control box itself, and number two, on the packaging that the control box comes in, the box for the box, you know? So uh, the serial number is very important. You are going to want to save that number. Uh, it's, so we'll go ahead and just punch in a sample number here, and then we'll hit OK. So we've got the serial number entered. We'll scroll down. Then there's going to be a, a math problem for us to solve, so we'll go ahead and do that. Download. If we get the number right, ding, ding, ding. Awesome. OK, so we've downloaded uh, the firmware for our control box. Now, as I mentioned, you're definitely gonna to wanna to save this serial number. It's not something that's gonna be accessible because of the location where it is once you get your ALP installed. Like the control box will be tucked somewhere in your vehicle and the packaging you will have long since recycled, you know? So you're gonna to wanna to save this number because you'll need it every time you go to update your firmware. So uh, write it down, save it. I have it saved in my password manager so it's super accessible and you'll wanna do something similar to make sure you can pull it up later because you will need this. So. Cool, we've got that saved. Uh, you'll notice there's another note here about uh, USB drives. We're gonna be taking these files, putting them on a little USB drive and taking them out to our car and plugging them into the ALP. The USB drive that you use does matter. Basically, make sure you use a good quality brand name one. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description to a couple that'll work fine. What you'll want to avoid is just those cheap freebie ones that you get from trade shows or whatever. Uh, the cheap ones may not work as well and could potentially cause issues with the ALP, so you'll want to stick to good quality USB drives. Uh, so just a quick note here. Okay, so we've got the firmware file downloaded for our control box. Now we're going to need to update the control set, which is the control pad, basically. Uh, you can see they'll post the dates as far as when the latest uh, firmwares are. Uh, depending on which version you've got with your ALP, you'll need only one of the two updates. You don't need both of them here. If you've got the standard control set that comes with the ALP, you're going to want to download this file here. So we'll just click on that and the file downloads. Super easy. Uh, if you also purchase the optional Hi-Fi module that has the speaker uh, for louder alerts and voices and all, if you downloaded that, you'll want to download uh, the control set for the Hi-Fi module. Uh, again, you don't need both, just pick whichever one you're going to need for your ALP. Uh, additionally, if you got the Hi-Fi module, they have different voices available that you can download. You'll see they're available in different languages. We've got English, German, and Hungarian. Uh, we'll stick with English for now. I speak English, so I run that. And then you'll see uh, there's different choices here. If you want to preview what the different uh, audio files sound like, you notice there's a, a female version and a male version, you can just click this play button here. Uh, it'll play through a couple different sample alerts. Pick the one that you want and download it uh, as well. So I run the female one, so I'll download that one. You'll notice it's a couple megs, and uh, now it's saved to our computer. Awesome. So now what we're going to want to do is uh, take these different files, 
put them onto a USB drive, and then we're going to wind up taking them out to the ALP. It'll upload all these files to update our jammer, and uh, then we'll have the latest voice packs, we'll have the latest firmwares, and everything will be ready to rock and roll. So uh, it only takes a couple seconds for the firmware updates and whatnot. Uh, the Hi-Fi module can take a couple minutes uh, to get all the voices and everything, so give that a little bit of time. You'll see everything blinking and flashing, and it'll let you know when it's done. Um, but yeah, so there's a look at how to update the jammer. And this, again, is something that you're going to want to do periodically as new versions come out. Very important, so definitely stay on top of that. Okay, cool. So now that we've got uh, everything that we need to update the jammer, uh, in the next video, we're going to be covering how to actually configure the jammer and uh, you know enable all the different features and functionality and customize it the way we want. So go ahead and continue on now to part two uh, to go ahead and customize and set up your jammer.